You probably already know this, but 1971's Clute is good stuff. I was just watching it again this evening for the second time ever, and I'm very much impressed. Obviously Fonda and Sutherland are stellar, but the real star of the show is Gordon Willis. Gordon Willis makes manifest the cosmic concept of mood, transforming architectural interiors into dimensional portals. This is what the new wave had over the old guard. This textured filmic naturalism stood in opposition, in protest perhaps, to the unreal saturation of old Hollywood's Baroque idealism. John Alton could transform human settings, recognisable locations across recorded time and space, into new fantasy realms. Gordon Willis could, conversely, illuminate the traces of magic inherent to the properties of a space. I don't see Willis as transforming what is in front of his frame so much as accentuating its necessary quality. The grace which is inherently manifest in a space's architectural or natural function. We all remember Clue having a strong screenplay as well. Who wrote this film again? Someone prominent, right? Not Goldman, but not Town. I wonder who it could have been. Andy and Dave Lewis. Well, what else did they script? Nothing. Well, both brothers were writers for television throughout the 60s, and Andy has a credit on a 1970 war picture titled Underground. I've never heard of it, but after Clute was sold, they must have called it quits. Oh well, it is what it is. If you haven't seen Clute, I highly recommend it. A very fine artifact of New Hollywood's divergent dispositions, particularly in regard to gender roles, but also where film photography is concerned, and how the dynamics of an interior are stylized. It was telling to utilize a traditional noir framework to experiment within, ensuring the profound articulation of this filmmaking generation's sense of difference. That's all I have to say here. Have a great one.